give advice to everybody else, but we don't tend to follow our own advice. That's where I think our insanity is. When you can put a rule out there, a belief for the world should follow this, and you actually can follow your own advice, then you're, you start to be sane. But as long as you think everybody else should do something, but you don't have to, that's your insanity right there. So I question you know, why would this person be the uh, human calculator? Was that a, a something that was pressured on him by society to be a master student? And then let's look at our master students and seeing how that's playing out. It doesn't seem like it's quite the right direction to go into. If this person was the master of what his full potential was guiding him down, if he knew himself, if he was self-aware of his own individual path, accepted some downfalls that, no, I'm not perfect the way society wants to see perfect, but I'm perfect in myself being myself, then I think we, we you know, if we all did that, if we all lived our own individual purpose, we would see world peace. But right now we're trying to make everybody else be our idea and not be, you know, celebrate their own individual self. I'll continue. Rationality and emotional resilience work the same way. These are neural connections that can be strengthened. Whatever you are doing at any time, you are physically modifying your brain to become better at it. Since this is such a foundational mechanism of the brain, being self-aware can greatly enrich our life experience. Specific neurons and neurotransmitters, such as norepinephrine, trigger a defensive state when we feel that our thoughts have to be protected from the influence of others. If we are then confronted with differences in opinion, the chemicals that are released in the brain are the same ones that try to ensure our survival in dangerous situations. In this defensive state, the more primitive part of the brain interferes with rational thinking and the limbic system can knock out most of our working memory, physically causing narrow-mindedness. We see this in the politics of fear, in the strategy of poker players, or simply when someone is stubborn in a discussion. No matter how valuable an idea is, the brain has trouble processing it when it is in such a state. On a neural level, it reacts as if we're being threatened, even if this threat comes from harmless opinions or facts that we may otherwise find helpful and could rationally agree with. This I find is like the chaos that goes on. When somebody, I find this so much in my life experience. I see the world completely different than anybody I've ever met in my life. And if I ha express my personal opinions, my perspectives on anybody, it's offensive to them. They, there's this argument that, you know, and it's like, it's just information. It's just my opinion. Why would that be so offensive to you? And then um, when I broke down about three years ago, I, I got this, holy shit. The breakdown of the mind is where all of your belief systems just all fall apart because everything you believe to be true is not as true as you think it is. And while I was always seeing things different than everybody else, I noticed that my whole life experience, I was being the best. I was, you know, I was influenced by my world that I was such a strong person and I'm really smart and I can do it. So I tried to do it. I tried to fit within the system. I tried to, to you know, if, if it's possible, I'm the one that can make it possible. And then I crashed. When I seen that the entire global system is, holy shit, nothing is as we think it is. And basically all of society was trying to get me to put a round peg in a square hole. It was like, it's impossible. 
and I was right. From the time I was born, the picture and images that I've seen that my parents and religion and doctors and schools and society were all trying to brainwash me to be something that I wasn't, all of my original thoughts of what life was all about, it was like I was right. And I had to crash of everything was wrong everything was wrong so that when you see somebody having a nervous breakdown or breakdown in the mind all of your neuroness all of your belief systems are now starting to be questioned and to improve on myself I had to believe in myself again and um, this is where I think a lot of people on the planet are, are we're in this chaos now. Everything that we seem to have believed in is not, you can't believe in your government system. You can't believe in your medical. You can't believe in the justice system. And this is going to have a breakdown in your mind and it will cause a lot of fear. And when you're in fear, you're not going to be thinking right because none of your your beliefs are working. You you are in total chaos. It's what the hell is true? And for me, my personal experience is like, okay, now I know it's true. But then I was faced with the reality of, okay, how do I make this work in the world? And um, it, it was almost like I got this whole all-knowing, this uh, David Icke sort of says the same thing happened to him that he was bombarded by a lot of um, this knowing and um, I think this is happening to a lot of people and then you completely will not fit within society and I find when I have conversations with other people and um, they come back at me with their logic I get really angry I get frustrated. I get angry. And um, according, you know, what what was just said on this video that you're going to be in fear. You're going to be, um, you just are not making any sense out of the conversations that are going on. And for me, it feels like I'm being attacked. And that attack creates this anger and fear and frustration. But then when I sit back and really, you know, make some logic sense out of what's really going on, it's more I'm lacking the ability to communicate. So that's where I found that I started my whole YouTube channel because I needed to learn how to communicate again. It's not like I don't have communication skills. It's how do I communicate with my belief system that happen to go against everybody else's belief system? And when I run into a conversation, what I'm personally dealing with is a belief in myself. Because I had a belief in myself that went against everybody else. I lost belief in myself and fell into the system, um, was big and strong and tough. And then I found out I wasn't knew all of that I thought I knew and should I really trust myself there's been so many times in my life where I thought I knew it all 16 I knew it all 18 I knew it all 25 I knew it all 32 I knew it all 40 I knew it all so now I'm at the stage where okay I know shit I'm always going to have this rule that says I don't really know shit. I know an awful lot, but there's never going to be a point in time where I know everything. So this frustration that I'm dealing with in this chaos is trusting in myself again. And that's why I started this YouTube channel is to learn to build up my confidence again because it was completely shattered. Everybody on a global basis, all of your belief systems are going to be completely shattered. You're not going to believe in yourself. What you knew to be true 
you know, isn't false, and everybody's going to give you a whole pile of new belief systems, and it's like, well, you couldn't trust anybody, you know, who the hell knows what, and it's like, what do I believe? So, and then you're going to develop your own belief systems, but you're not going to know how to communicate that with other people so you're understood. So I think the moral of that story is, is um, I think on a global basis, as we start learning that things aren't what we thought they were, were, we're going to get into this fear, anger, frustration, and um, your brain will not come up with any good information when you're in that state of mind. Um, but just understand that you're forming understandings within yourself. It's okay. It's sort of like one of my bottles that I use every day, accept and allow. And it's, you'll do best. This is like a black hole that we're all going through and there's an event horizon that we need to watch how we handle our event horizons. And the best way to do it is just accept and allow. It's like, okay, what does this mean? And when you do some self-awareness and find out what really is going on, um, I do know what it is I'm talking about. If I don't know what I'm talking about, then through communication, I can learn where my rules may be a little off and maybe somebody else's rules are more right than mine. So, But I'll never find that out unless I can have that conversation. But if my first reaction is fear, fear is never going to be... Fear is where you can tell right away your neural nets are not matching up. Something is off. So don't even bother having the conversation if you're in fear. Don't bother making any decisions when you're in fear. Only do it when you're absolutely confident and certain about something, which is another bottle is that I drink from this water concept is uh, confidence and certainty. You have to have the feeling that you're confident and certain about something. And that will put you in a position to constantly be aware of, well, what am I confident and certain about? What can I be certain about? And start with simple things like, I can breathe. Uh, you know, I, I, I may not believe in myself now, but I'll believe in myself one day. Um, I'm in school. I'm learning. I will get it. You know, there are so many things that you can be confident about. You just don't necessarily have to be confident about knowing everything now, but be confident that you will know everything, that the future will be bright, you know, and then your neural net of confidence start building, and then you start attracting, you start calming down a bit, you start reflecting a little bit, your neural nets will start to be a lot more logical. That's what works for me. Pretty sure it'll work for everybody. But uh, just understand, when we're going through this chaos, it will be like a fight or flight. This will cause a lot of medical problems. So um, even what we know about health care is totally dead wrong. And a lot of it is created by our belief systems, which create habits. And our habits create diseases. Um, for me was smoking. Um, when I'm stressed, go for that cigarette. When I don't believe in myself, go for that cigarette. When I don't believe in the future is going to be great, go for that cigarette. When I feel like I'm completely alone in this human experience, go for the cigarette. The cigarette will end up killing me. Um, being stressed and, and uh, in fear creates tension in your muscles. You're not breathing as much, so you're getting lack of oxygen. Um, you're just not going to function properly. So it's so good to just calm down. You don't need to know everything. It will come. Um, watch your health. Your health will always be the guide towards your self-awareness. Um, and, and pay attention to the habits that you develop while you're in this chaos, while you're in the survival. The rules that you're going to use to survive with may not be the healthiest. I'll continue. But when we express ourselves and our views are appreciated, these defense chemicals decrease in the brain, and dopamine neurotransmission activates the reward neurons, making us feel empowered and increasing our self-esteem. 
our beliefs have a profound impact on our body chemistry. This is why placebos can be so effective. Self-esteem or self-belief is closely linked to the neurotransmitter serotonin, 